this was the uh, 1930s, 40s, and 50s. Uh, you would be on this actual streetcar right away. This is in Washington County. We're actually at the uh, Pennsylvania Trolley Museum in Arden, uh, near Washington, Pennsylvania, but they've restored the actual trolley line uh, that you would have ridden on. We're going to go uh, take a ride on a trolley today so you can experience what that would have been like at the time. Uh, this is uh, an authentic uh, car from the Philadelphia area. It's probably a uh, 1920s uh, architecture. We'll have a uh, person kind of speaking a little bit to it, but um, this is the car that we're going to be riding on. It's a very cold day, but fortunately they have heaters. And uh, this is what it's going to be like to ride it. Hopefully they'll let me on here. go. Not a very good handicap entrance. There you go. See some of the motor work here that went into it. Got wood seats here. These are our conductors today. What is the uh, vintage of this car again, please? What, 1923. Thank you very much. Yeah. I don't have you in the film. Okay, Sorry. <laughs> I have to have model releases signed or something. <laughs> and the siding and lighting system is all as it was. You might have been a, a patch town worker and working in a coke oven and you're heading on home. This was your mode of transportation as nobody had cars. It was cheap and reliable. like people talking to the motorman because they had a job to do. <laughs> Say this is the JB Brill Company built this in Philadelphia, 1923. That's a siding right there because when um, cars would be coming up and down the track, you see it's just a single track. It's the only way that one could get out of the way so that the other could pass. Yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> Sometimes there's deer on the track. See the overhead wires connected to the trolley. What's, what's the master plan for this loop? Uh, that's a wide track. There's another track coming up this way. They'll both join and go up around. And there'll be a street up there called Trolley Street. Of course. Up to the other end down here. And you'll be able to go down and connect, reconnect up here in the next one. Oh, okay. So it'll be a loop. This was the normal speed? No, faster than Much that. faster? Okay. okay. He's slowing down for all the switches. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, if you go up the valley, it's a little bit faster. Oh, okay. You can see that this, this is new here. This all opened up this spring. This track is here. Let's see some of the ads that they would put in the. Uh, with the communists out of government. Very much a period piece for the 50s. It's probably the last time this thing ran normally. some of the equipment that they used. That's where the motor man would sit on a little seat here. They have a little loop that they built. Take your back around to the museum. dealing very much with the time gone by. Beautiful wooden seats. You know, once they got rid of these, nobody really cared about them. So most of them headed to the scrap heap in the late 50s, right after most of the trolley lines went down. Um, the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum was formed probably starting in 56, 7, and 8, and they started collecting uh, trains at that point and just starting to restore them. Uh, we have several, several examples of beautifully restored trolleys. And um, during the summer months, especially around uh, Washington County Fair, I mean, they are open. You check out, uh, I believe it's patrolleymuseum.org. You can find out their ride schedules and their tours. Um, it's a very interesting thing to join and be part of, uh, and a very important part of history, certainly in Western Pennsylvania and in all of Pennsylvania. So come down to the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum sometime. For all you men, it's close to the Tanger Outlet, so drop off your wife, and come down and spend two hours, and pick up some interesting history. <laughs>